So I'm going to start with Barilla lasagna noodles. Hi Cookie Cronies. Today I'm going to make a lasagna roll up um, similar to a lasagna recipe but they're going to be in rolls. I saw this techniques when I was watching the kitchen on the food channel and I just had to try it. So it's going to be my own re lasagna recipe, um, lasagna filling recipe, but the technique is going to be the one that Sunny showed on that show. So I'm going to start with Barilla lasagna noodles and we're not going to boil them. We're going to put them in a big pan with sides like this and I'm going to pour boiling water over them, cover them with, lasagna, with um, aluminum foil, and then I'm going to let them set for 20, 20 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to place the lasagna noodles in this pan fairly loosely so um, they won't stick. So it's a big pan my roasting pan that I use with a rack for, for uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving when I'm doing turkey. So I'm going to just kind of put these and it's two boxes of the lasagna noodles. Okay, I've never tried this uh, no baking or no boiling method for the lasagna noodles before but Sunny made it look easy. So here we go Sunny. I'm going to pour my boiling water over it. I've got two containers of boiling water to make sure that I'm totally covering all of these noodles and it's salted water of course not the one in my tea kettle but the one in my big pot here is salted Ooh, fogging up my glasses So, I don't know if you can see that, but they're in this pan, and I'm going to give them a little stir so that they're not going to stick together here. You can get to the bottom of some of these. Can't see my glasses are steamed up. All right, but they're moving. So I'm going to cover this with foil. Woo! That's hot. So I'm going to set this aside for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. I hope I said the noodles name correctly and it's Barilla lasagna noodles. The ingredients that I'm going to be using is ricotta cheese and I like the whole milk ricotta cheese and I just get the Kroger brand. And I'm only going to use half of this container but um, I like to spread this over over toast, so anything left over doesn't get wasted. Okay, besides salt and pepper, I'm going to be using some garlic powder. I am using a canned marinara sauce. Um, you can use any flavor you want, but this is what I have on hand. I'm using the pizza blend because there's several different uh, cheeses in it, and I really like the flavor of the mixture of cheeses and then I'm going to use Italian seasoning and some crushed red pepper and the zest of the lemon and that's just to brighten up the the whole recipe I also have one large egg that I'm going to beat and this just helps bind everything together so let's start with the egg and it's a fresh egg from my dad's chickens and uh, I just Put it in a bowl of water to make sure that it didn't float, so it's good to go. 
and I'm going to give it a little beating here. So I'm going to, so I beat it a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cheeses in there. And again, it's the pizza blend cheese by Kroger. And you want four cups of this. This is going to be a nice cheesy lasagna roll. up the lasagna the ricotta get a spoon out and just about half of it it said easy peel on the top of this it was not I had to fight it to get it out off of the top of the container all right that looks like about half Then I'm going to put some Italian seasoning in here. I'm going to use probably a heaping tablespoon to start with. And as I mix it, I'll know what how much it needs to be by the way it looks. I'm going to put a little bit of, of the red um, chili, crushed chili, just because we like our stuff a little bit uh, spicy. And I'm leaving my Italian seasoning open so I can add it if I need more. So then I'm going to just sprinkle some garlic powder in here. Of course some salt and pepper to taste. And you don't need a lot of salt because the cheeses have salt. And then pepper. So now I'm going to just mix it all together. The mixing seems to go better with a spatula, so I'm using a rubber spatula to get all the ingredients incorporated. I think I'm going to want just a little more Italian seasoning in here. So I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit more in there, probably about a teaspoon. So because the first amount I put in here was over a tablespoon, I would say I probably put two tablespoons of Italian seasoning in here. All right, this looks like it's incorporated really well. What I want to do now is I have some mild Italian sausage that I'm going to brown. Okay, so this is my mild Italian sausage, and I'm going to brown it. I'm going to add it to my sauce and then that'll just give extra flavor to the lasagna rolls. So I still need to zest my lemon. So I will do that right now to add that to my cheese mixture. Make sure you don't get the white. You don't want that bitter pith in your food. So, as I wait for my meat to brown, I can double duty it here and get this lemon zested. Shouldn't take too long. This lemon really isn't very big. And I'll use the rest in my iced tea, my sun tea I have brewing outside. And look at that. My lasagna noodles are done. I hope. Turn off the timer here. I'm just going to let them set for a minute while I mix this lemon zest in here. Okay, so let's see what these 
doodles look like over here on the stove. by 13 baking dish here that I'll be placing the rolls in. So let's get ready to assemble. Okay, before I add most of the jar into the Italian sausage, I'm going to put some sauce in the bottom of this pan to coat it. And then the noodles will sit on this. Just kind of smoothing it on the bottom of my baking pan. The remaining sauce I'm going to add to the sausage. You can see how beautiful that looks. I'm going to add a little water to the jar to get all that lusciousness out of there. And where's my lid? Right here. And I'll give it a good shake. And pour that in as well. And just mix it. And we'll just let this simmer on the stove a little while and I'll pour it over the rolls once they are ready. So I've got a couple of tea towels here, kitchen towels, and I'm going to take a couple of rolls out at a time, a couple of the noodles, I'm sorry. I want to dry them off. Okay. A little uh, cookie scooper, and I'm gonna put that in there like that, and then I'll get a little butter knife and spread it. And if I need more, I will add more, but that's how I'm gonna start the process. And if you've noticed, I'm not going all the way to the edge. See if you can see that. I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm leaving a little bit there. And I think I need another scoop. So I think it's going to take about two scoops. It wasn't a whole scoop, so we'll see. should sit. So then I'm going to set it in here just like so and continue the process. Well, you know, I almost think that patting these with your hand and spreading them works better than the knife because it still seems like it wants to stick to the knife. So it's faster just using your fingers. I guess those are the best tools we have, huh? It's using our hands. I've torn some of these, but that's okay too, I guess, huh? But it looks yummy. Um, this process takes longer than putting together a lasagna, but you know, it's the presentation I think that's going to be pretty spectacular because it already looks pretty just sitting in the dish. Okay, well, I finally finished. Here is my total uh, complete lasagna rolls. 
I did learn a lesson from this new process that I watched Sunny do, and that is two boxes of the lasagna noodles in one pan doesn't work well. Next time I will use two pans um, and put a box in each pan because some of the noodles, even though I kind of mixed them, I didn't want to reopen the foil, and so some of them stuck and were not usable. So some of them got wasted, but there's plenty in this pan. So um, it looks good. I'm going to uh, put the rest of this sauce over the uh, noodles. And I'm not gonna cook it right away because it's gonna be for dinner tonight with family and um, so I'm going to just refrigerate it but when you're ready to cook it you want to cook it at 350 degrees uh, in a preheated oven Ooh, looks good I'm going to spread this around really well so you're going to cook it for at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes covered and then you're going to and you're going to wonder how I'm going to cover this <laughs> I'm going to use some uh, no-stick foil on this thing, and I'm going to put a cookie sheet over it so that uh, it doesn't um, overflow onto my oven. And I'll put some of these chunks of meat over to the side of it. Um, then, once it's cooked for 20 to 25 minutes and the sides are getting kind of bubbly and brown a little bit, then you want to uncover it and cook it for an additional 10 to 15 minutes and then let it stand um, for a few minutes before you serve it. And you can serve it with any side that you normally like to serve Italian food with. Um, I like a salad or corn or squash or eggplant, um, you know, just a variety of things. Doesn't have to be one thing or my favorite. Use your favorite and uh, That's this new recipe, so I hope you give it a try.